Well, just released an updated Windows APU driver for the Steam Deck on November 8, 2022. As they claim, the new driver will have better compatibility and improved gaming performance. This just sounds too good to be true. I can't wait to test this new APU driver on my Steam Deck since I use Windows on my Steam Deck a lot. So I headed to the Steam website from the Twitter link. After I click the download button, it takes about 15 seconds to fill up the download bar. But then it suddenly stops at 100%. After 2 minutes and 30 seconds, the download was finished. I almost thought this download is failed. So just be patient if you try to download this APU driver. Then I quickly unzipped the APU driver and started the installation process. Everything is pretty straightforward until I hit 74% installation. Yes, you're right, at 74% the whole process just stopped. I waited about 5 minutes and it remained at 74%. After waiting another 8 minutes, my Steam Deck screen went black and returned to the poultry mode. Fortunately, the process appears to be continuing after nearly 15 minutes of waiting. I waited another 2 minutes to complete the whole installation process in the portrait mode. This whole installation process feels like riding on a roller coaster. You just need to be really patient to install this new APU driver. I rebooted my Steam Deck after the driver installation was done. The first game I have tested is Fortnite. With this new APU driver, I can tell that game is running better than the old driver. The lowest FPS I got is 75, and most time it remains at 120 FPS. With previous APU driver, this game ran at 60 FPS, and it is really hard to keep a constant 120 FPS with the old driver. The next game is Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I just had bad luck with this game on the new APU driver. I waited for about 5 minutes and it stuck on this screen and wouldn't get into the game. Then I restarted the game but the same issue still remained. This game is working perfectly fine with the old APU driver. Then I got a question mark over the compatibility of the new APU driver. The last game is Sakuju Shadow Die Twice. I have already spent lots of hours on this game with the old APU driver on Steam Deck. It was playable and most of the time it stays at 35 to 45 FPS. After I updated the new APU driver today, I did not feel any performance improvement on this game and it feels pretty much the same as the old APU driver. At this point, I will stay with the old APU driver since there is no compatibility issues for me.